Welcome to the world of Batman v Superman. The world of Batman v Superman is massive and along with that we have a series of prequel comics to help set things up. So where was Lex Luthor before the movie? Welcome to the Complete Story Series, we take trade paperbacks and single issues and we break them down into digestible bites to help you understand. Then for free to dramatically back to you, all alterations to the panels, texts, and images are to prevent copyright problems, and all art is owned by its respective companies. These are five individual comic books telling the stories of five individuals and their adventures before the Batman vs. Superman movie. You can win these by going through Dr. Pepper, but apparently Doritos and a few other things have got their own prequel comics. I don't fully understand, but I'll link you the Dr. Pepper contest down below. Lex stands before the crumbled ruins of the LexCorp building. This was supposed to be my crowning achievement. A perfect marriage of architect and technology. The biggest, grandest, most highly advanced structure in all of Metropolis. But after the alien attack, I had to tear those plans up. And I'm glad. Lex is actually standing in front of countless reporters to announce that he's going to rebuild the building into something massive. A skyscraper for the heavens. As he cuts the ribbon, he explains that Metropolis isn't a disaster area or a financial risk. It's his home. He then hands back the giant scissors and tells the reporters that he has a full plate, but will take a couple of questions on the way to the car. The first question is, what will Lex do if the city doesn't come back? It'll be disastrous for his bottom line. Lex sneers at them. Wrong, Neil. A disaster is a tragic loss of thousands of people in a single day. But there were heroes there too. Rescue workers, first responders, our men and women in uniform, and countless ordinary civilians. They put their lives in the light, so my money is the least I can do. It only bothers me that more people don't feel that way. Another reporter jumps in on that line. Actually, since word got out, local politicians and media personalities are calling companies that left Metropolis traitors. A growing number are returning or expanding their existing operations. I wouldn't be surprised, Mr. Luther, if you couldn't sell all of the land you acquired for a higher rate. Then Lex gets into his car. There you have it, Lex Luther. You are as much a hero to Metropolis as Superman. No, not like him. You don't want to be compared to Superman? He saved a runaway train, hundreds of lives. Are you saying that you're among those that don't believe he's the hero that he appears to be? The truth is, Ken, I don't feel I have enough information on Superman to comment. I don't think anyone does. I think it's important that we recognize the ordinary civilians of Metropolis. He then closes the window and he drives away. His assistant tells him that he did a great job handling those gotcha questions. Nothing I can't handle, I told the truth. What do we know about Superman? He can fly and shoot lasers from his eyes, but everyone cheers when he saves a cat out of a tree. He loves easy jobs like runaway trains and wildfires and earthquakes, but avoids the messy political stuff. Isn't it a little convenient for you? I don't know enough about Superman. No one does. But I will find out. And that is Lex Luthor's story in these Batman vs Superman prequels. The last one that we're going to be doing is a story about a senator and what they intend to do on a government level with Superman. Now don't forget to follow me on Twitter at ComicStory and to check out our Instagram at ComicStory and I'll see you guys next time right here.